Okay, good afternoon. Uh, it's really nice to be here. And I'm an engineer. I'm going to talk about more like bottom-up approach. Uh, my name is Jin Yuan. I'm working for uh, the Royal Institute of Techn Technology and also the Melodonian University uh, in Sweden. And also I'm editor-in-chief for Applied Energy. The reason because, uh, in fact, this is not only my professor's job rather than practice how we use international network to promote the clean energy and renewable energy. Uh, yes, the title uh, I use too, innova innovative or innovation, because we do need innovation, but innovation doesn't mean complicated. That's what we have, the complete connection with the computer and rather than robust system. Uh, here's outline. Uh, I would like to bring the issue and the mismatch with the stakeholders and uh, what situation right now in developed country which owns a new and advanced technology and the developing country need. There's a market there, but they need technology. And, and also another uh, issue I would do, like to bring what kind of solution we have. And I would like to bring one example of what we are doing and some action, what we have done. Uh, here, this is a periodical table. Uh, in the opening session, we're talking about Nordic uh, countries. And Sweden has about 0.14% of the population, and they, they discovered the, about 15% the element. Uh, so that's more like you try to illustrate how the scientific advance as a small country. And if lo even looks at 9 million population Sweden, they have so many uh, worldwide larger companies. And what's happened behind that? And I do observe there are a lot of new technology, but because of market limitation with 9 million people, how to explore the technology into the other larger markets, for example, like China, India, or some other developing countries. So that's the background why we would like to do something new or we all know this so-called death of valley and uh, our stakeholders working in academy in one side and uh, the industry on another side and government give money but not there's one part in the book there's this called valley of death and which we need money we need stakeholder to get into together that's what we try to bring all stakeholder together and working a little bit close to the market. And that's one of the motivation we create the new institute of so-called Applied Energy Innovation Institute, which we use the, our network established from the Applied Energy. I will give you a little bit more information later about what Applied Energy Network. And also we try to use so-called organized without organization. This new institute is uh, independent and it's not to depend on any government and or other research institute. And so, so that we might be able to keep it more robust and less bureaucracy. There are two issues we need to solve. One is how to bring all stakeholders together. It's easy to say, but not easy to do. And second is how to bring our international collaboration into the implementation as what we have mentioned in the opening session. So it's a, uh, that's what we try to solve by our solution. And what we have done is uh, once they establish one platform or institute, try to link in with a strong international collaboration and uh, locate it a little bit close to the market, for example, in this case in China. And, and also we try to work in more focus on the implementation rather than research and development. Uh, here is uh, some background about uh, applied energy. It's one journal established in 1975, so next year will be 14 uh, anniversary. And we publish about 1,000 papers. And it's a uh, it's really larger network. And based on that, we, we started the so-called uh, I say a international conference on applied energy to, to facilitate the communication from 
for our authors and reviewers and the editors. And based on that, so we, we continue working with the uh, local government, for example, uh, in China. This is uh, our international network we have been hold uh, since uh, we started in, let's see, I hope it works. So we started the first one in Hong Kong. It's about 100 people. And the second in Singapore is 300 people. And, and the third one in Perugia, Italy. And fourth in, in China, in Suzhou. And then we had a small expert workshop, uh, which has ended with a collaboration with the local city in Ningbo to establish a new uh, platform. And next year, we will be uh, hold in Abu Dhabi. Uh, I hope the, if you are interested, please join us. And this is the, we call the AEI, Applied Energy Innovation Institute, which we have started with discussion with the local government and get support, but we disconnect to the government, which keeps it to be independent, open platform. The network connect more than 10,000 people. And I would like to give a very short description about how this institute has been established, what we are working and and how we are going to implement and what's behind of the international network. And this is uh, the building which has 3,000 square meters. And so we have been working for one year, uh, working for all the, the the hardware and the logistic. Now it's, uh, we can start to operate it. We received some funding from the, the local government for the initial startup. And now we are running totally independent. So the basic idea to try to work in link to the international applied energy network with, uh, with China close to the market. And what we are doing, doing the, basically the four parts uh, one is the technology landscaping, where there are technology needs from the market, and we do have the technology in the developed country, for example, like Sweden. And there are many uh, small, medium companies which have very innovative, we have a lot of new technology, but we need the market. That's why we start to have the second part, market demanding uh, study, uh, which we, right now we are working with the local city, uh, working with uh, of different industry sectors to try to find what energy saving technology they are need, and what new and renewable energy technology can be implemented. And as well as we're working with the capital investment, because this is very important part to, to really make it happen. And the good thing is that now, the, in fact, in China, there's a market, there's a capital available, which they are looking for the new technology too. Of course, for the development country, capacity building is very important. So those are four parts we are working on with big data database to try to do the matching for all different uh, aspects. And here this uh, describes the, the scope of what we are doing. We are not doing the original research, uh, rather than the more focus on the, the innovation and the market penetration. So then you can say it's really working for more prototype and the products in which you might be attract more investors and also close to the market. Uh, this is a business model which is quite interesting. I showed the first part, we keep the open platform. And in fact, when we started, there's some venture capital or some other want to join us, but we try to keep open. The reason because we want to have the open platform. And here you can see all different projects from our applied energy network and our own research and development uh, product, or in particular for a small media company. And each project as a, as a project, and this is uh, one kind of the incubation process, and we try to work in close to the market and at the same time to attract the investors. And the results we try to, to put into the more commercial based, which means you, they can establish a company uh, which takes the benefit from the market. And basically, it's, uh, if you look above, it's open. And 
and the results will be working on the market, quite close to the market. Yes, that's what we try to say if it's possible to keep the quality, for example, like European quality, but at the same time keep the efficiency. Uh, for example, in China, it can be very quick if uh, there's the good motivation to make money, for example, and to combine them together to take the benefit for the whole platform. And this is uh, basically a standard organization, but uh, very interesting, we have one part of the so-called innovation fund, which we are working on with the investors, the bank and some other capital investors to try to establish a long-term relationship with the institute and also the investors. And it's quite, uh, quite positive as uh, we are right now uh, contact with uh, the banks, for example. And what we are doing, so here I start from my own research, so I'm, as I mentioned, I'm an engineer and working with more technology innovation. We choose our technology, which has been looked at the Chinese market, some of them, for example, like uh, solar PV water pumping, which we have been working together with, uh, supported by the Asia Development Bank and also CEDA for many years, and uh, mobilize the thermal energy storage system, and also the waste cooking oil uh, for the biodiesel. We choose three technology as a pilot project. And here it shows some work which has been done for it's a one and a half minutes uh, flash to show how we have been working together. The basic principle is very simple. Use solar energy for the grassland conservation, and which is basically you use water irrigation system. We have been working together with Chinese uh, Institute, including both the water resource and the irrigation uh, technology. But there are other benefits, not only in the, the solar uh, renewable energy and also the soil improvement, uh, carbon soil increment, and also improves the farmer's income. And some innovation we try to work with social media to get other stakeholders and the investors involved. For example, individual can have your own one square meter of grassland to attract them to donate, and in particular, more important for them to get engaged into the, this type of the ecological consultation. And we have done the three provinces for the pilot project, and now we are trying to do the scale up. Those are the partner of the, our projects. And there are some other technology. In fact, for example, this technology we have been looking to the market potential. If we convert 0.3% of the grassland in the world, the total PV installation is equivalent of the worldwide today's total installation capacity. So the potential is quite large. And the production is the, the payback time. It really depends on how the grass in increase of the uh, production due to the irrigation. We is yearly it's about 10 or 13 times it should be easier to reach. And we have developed different modules, including the integrated with ICT, how to do remote control and remote monitoring, which is able to facilitate, for example, like social network to be e engaged into the individuals. And this is recent work we have been trying to work on where in China is the most suitable, both economically and also environmentally. And some other technology, I mean, due to the time, I will skip it for thermal energy storage and also micro reactor for the biodiesel. And the networking, so this is it. I just showed what we have been done. And uh, we do have uh, quite good networks through the Applied Energy uh, Journal and also through our research. And this is developed and we have been uh, dramatically increased for the submission of the, and our editorial board. And that's worldwide our authorship of the Applied Energy. We try to use this platform for our author to really help them to 
to facilitate their uh, technology innovation into the market. I'll skip this uh, quickly. We have 5,000 uh, roughly submission and from 65 countries and uh, over 10,000 reviewers. So they, they are the engineers, they are scientists. And we have uh, about uh, 1,000 publications. So impact factors and also 1.7 million downloads, uh, which is, that means is really quite a large network. We have been ranking the most by one system in technology as the number one of the year. And also we have been trying to working with, uh, oh, working with the local government to, for the export forum. That's more like doing the technology importation. And also I'm leading for another platform which we try to link to from the Sweden and China to working together. Those are also working with the European industry. And we have an initiative for the so-called Applied Energy Innovation Cup, which try to encourage the young people to do the innovation. This will be started from this year. Hopefully, we can start for next year. And another program we have been running with two, uh, 200 million uh, Chinese yuan to working together with so-called uh, China Scholarship Council uh, program, working with the 15, more than 15 European universities try to for the capacity building, and which involved 100 PhD students and 15 postdocs, so that we can work in a little bit larger project together. And the project we try to work in not only academic studies, rather than try to work in both industry from Europe and China. So that's the platform we we built up. Okay, I think I'm I'm just show some examples how we are working on try to do something from bottom up. And I really hope if you have a chance to visit China and please visit us and we can try to work in something together. Good, thank you.